Hello and welcome to another Interdo programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to be solving this problem that you can see right in front of you. We have to display this output, which is a right triangle of numbers, 1 through 4, using nested loops. Now, in order to solve this problem, we're going to be taking the following approach. First of all, I will going to notice that there are four sets of lines, so I need to display four lines. Then every line has the same number of items as the line number. If you notice the first line, it has one output. If you notice the second line, it has two outputs. If you notice the third line, it has three outputs. If you notice the fourth line, there are four outputs per line. So what we're going to be doing is, in order to create this right triangle, we're going to be using one loop to display the line numbers or to work through the line numbers and we're going to be working with another loop to display the number of items on every line. So I could be using combination of any sets of loops but since they're both count controlled my best bet would be to use a for loop. So I'm going to be declaring a for loop variable. I'm going to be declaring a variable in the for loop which will going to be my outer as integer and this will going to be used to go through the rows so the values will be 1 to 4 and then I'm going to have my inner loop my inner loop will be actually displaying as many numbers as the row count so this is basically where I need to apply my logic to control the items that are being displayed on the line by the line number. So if you notice, the first time I'm in the outer loop, the value for the line number is 1, which is the value for the outer counter. When I'm in line number 2, the value for the outer counter is 2. When I'm in line number 3, the value for my outer coin counter is 3. When I'm in line number 4, the value for my outer counter is 4. So I can literally say I want my inner loop counter to be an integer such that the value will range from 1 to the current value of outer whatever is the current value of outer so the first time it runs it runs from 1 to 1 so only gonna run once next time it runs we're gonna run from 1 to 2 that means we're gonna run twice the third time it runs we're gonna run three times fourth time we're gonna run we're gonna run four times so now I'm gonna be displaying my logic system dot console dot write. I'm going to use write because if you notice my output has to be in the same line. If I use write line then every number will going to be in a different line and I'll simply display the value of my outer counter because my inner counter will going to be in variance. Since the output has a fixed number that means for second row it all it's all twos. For the third row it's all threes. For the fourth row, it's all fours. So that's why outer is the only variable that remains the same for all variants of the inner counter. And once I'm outside of the outer uh, inner loop, this is where I can do a line break by simply calling system.console.writeLine. Now let's test this example. And here we have our output. One, twos, threes, fours. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and that probably should actually lay the foundation for displaying the output for your homework assignment for this week. Thank you for watching. Have a good week.